Um, Louis was with snakes wrapped around his neck. True story. Go and look at the Instagram. This guy is living the life while your wife is in the villain's house. And look, Teresa ain't no fame whore. She don't need to be on TV. She is world famous. She's there for one reason and one reason only. You get paid probably around 200 grand to walk in the house and you win like 250 if you win the show. So for $200,000 to pay for another two years of Gabriella's school and maybe you'll win the 250. I heard Teresa was doing great. Well, she's out of the house now. But this guy is living up his life while she's in that house. I mean, I'm Teresa's uh, husband. Well, let me tell you something. Now she's out of the house. So the other night, I'm living up. I got so many restaurants I want to try out here. So I go to Casa Madera. Everybody asks me, where do I eat in the Hamptons? Where do I eat in New York? Where do I eat in LA? Love Casa Madera. It's been there for a minute. Still hot, still hip. It's at the Mondrian Hotel in WeHo on Sunset. So I go with my boy, Evan, and we have a great, and by boy, I mean like boy, like we've known each other forever. Every time I post a picture with him, everyone's like, he's so cute. You know, we're not going to date for a lot of reasons. Let's not get into that right now. But we, we go there, we have a lovely dinner. It's on his list. It's on my list. We check it off. It was a Monday. I was fucking hungover on Monday. It was like a Monday, yeah, Monday or Tuesday, one of those. I was hungover. We have a great dinner and we leave. I still got to post the pictures at the Mondrian Hotel, Casa Madera. And I, shit is popping up on my feed today. And I see 17 hours ago, this, the same night we were there, Teresia Ojayudaiche and Louisa Raalias. There they are. There they are. And like, we all don't post in real time. But if you're posting this picture around in real time, holy fucking shit over here 3000 miles away from that house that we see on the show i am having to run into possibly almost teresa and louis are you fucking kidding me i got to post my pictures from casa madera literally the same night they were there around the same time you have got this is a joke this is an actual joke so my friend Evan is like, oh my God, like we almost, and like, you know, I don't even know, like, look, Joe and Melissa would never come up to me. Teresia never would. This Louie is so, I don't even mind this, but he's so, you, you know, he is a wild card. You never know what he's going to do. I could see him coming up to me and just being like, listen, man. And by the way, when you confront me in the real world or not the real world in a hostile manner, I'll go psychotic on you. When you confront me as like a, a like person, that's, I'm very reasonable. So if I just picture Louis coming up to me and being like, hey man, like, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing? Like, you're saying this about me. You're saying this about my wife. I mean, Teresa would probably just stand back because I think she knows better that I would fucking go off on her. But if Louis came up, I could see him doing it. Like, what are you doing? What are you doing? And like, I mean, man, we're in love. We're living our lives. Why are you doing this? Believe it or not, I would actually feel bad. Now, I'm always going to do my job. But yeah, I would probably try to soften the edges just a little bit. Really? You know, when the Saj comes up to me and I feel like she's threatening me. No. But I would have felt bad. But I mean, I don't want to run into these people. My friend Evan is like, why? I just don't want to. I don't need to. I don't want to run into anyone that I talk about on this show. I talk about a lot of people. I'm not afraid. Don't fucking come up to me because I'll fucking go psychotic on you. But I just don't want it. I'm not thirsty. I'm truly not. I'm happy to never see a housewife out in the wild. But I almost ran into them. Can you fucking believe this? Can you fucking believe this shit? I almost pissed my pants and shit the bed when I saw this on her Instagram. We'll see. It's happening here. I get so riled up with Jersey. I'm the same David that's about to talk about Vanderpump Rules. And I already feel more relaxed. Katie was just on Watch What Happens. And I just found her chat so interesting. She says that she says she never liked Jax. She doesn't like Jax. And she's grown apart from Brittany because she just doesn't like that man. And he is not good for Brittany and good for her. 
good for her for finally like standing strong and leaving. I just want to know if Katie knows it's all fake and it's all for the Valley or if she actually believes this like drama between the two of them. I'll never believe it. It seems too convenient for me. Really doesn't. Lisa Vanderpump is doing interviews. Yeah, she probably gets a percentage, okay? Honestly. Then she talks about Sandoval's apology. She says they're just words, save them. They're just words, save them. I mean, what did Sandoval think? It's never gonna, he's never gonna get Katie back. It's not gonna happen. Joe, she said Joe, because she you know she came out hard about Joe, who we all know I don't like Joe. She said, yeah, after watching the show back, she thinks Joe and Schwartzy deserve each other. Well, I think they do. He has a new girlfriend, Sophia Skolos, who's 23. And Katie said, I already told him that if you're 23, that's who you play around and diddle with. You don't date the 23-year-olds. Advice from Katie. Hello, Katie. Hi, Katie Maloney. Something is just in here, and it's regarding, I mean... Oh, I mean, we already knew this. Larsa and Marcus Jordan split. Okay, enough already. Does anyone fucking care? I truly don't care. Just leave it. But something is popping up here about Frankel. Bethany Frankel is slammed. Oh, Bethany Frankel slammed for buying phallic dessert with teenage daughter. Brynn as fans react. I mean, is this really? This is what's popping up here in real time. So I'm sorry to waste your guys' time with this. Oh, God, who the fuck wrote this? Okay. She was called out for her dieting. Right. She said, try everything. Out of the diet. By the way, I'm trying Prolon. You guys have to try Prolon. I'll put, if you want my code, I'll share it with you. You get 10% off. This isn't an ad. I'm truly trying it. It's a five-day fast. And when you get it, this is why I love it. Each thing is in a box. So you open it, it says day one, day two, and you don't fast. You, you're you not eating a steak dinner or you're not eating a chicken palm or a pepperoni pizza, but you do eat and it's not a diet, it's science, which I know sounds like a tagline, but it's true. It tricks your body into thinking that it's fasting. So I'm starting this. I started it. And it's going well. Prolon, I really do highly recommend it, but I'm not finished with the five-day program. But when when I, and I'm drinking coffee, I saw something about whether you should be drinking coffee or not. I don't give a fuck. I'm not giving up coffee because I couldn't do this job. And the bottom line is um, I'm not drinking during it. So obviously the night I went out yesterday with Teresa, and almost ran into her. I did drink, but today's a new day and we started it. So if anyone wants a five-day cleanse, they say you're supposed to do it three times a year and you're not hungry. It tricks your body into thinking you're fasting. And listen, if this leans me out, which it seems to be doing already, I'm uh, sticking with it. So prolong. Anyway, that wasn't an ad. We just slipped into it. But Katie says you diddle around with the young ones. Okay, wow. Um, I saw Bethany's dessert. It is phallic. All right, she's teaching the kid about phallic stuff early on. I'm not that worried. I was raised, I mean, I guess you could say I've turned out totally fucking psychotic and fucked up, but I've been raised uh, just to, you know, I've 